Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes. In the last video, we entered this new world, this sandy, dusty, nuked out world filled with mutants. And not the X-Men kind, but more like spooky beehive head kind of kind. Although, I have got to say, like a, a next man or an X-woman. X-Men is sexist, if you think about it that way. Boom! With a beehive for a head would be pretty cool. Anyways. And uh, we found a dungeon at the very end, the Vault of the Herald. So we're going to kick things off by doing that. And then, of course, we got a big shiny key kind of thing. So we're going to... Oh, God. <laughs> that first shot missed, and those things are much quicker than I realized. Let's pop some skulls, baby. You think about it, it's, it's, it's just a headshot, isn't it? It's a joke there somewhere. Not sure it's a good one, but there is a joke there somewhere. Grab some loot to loot And uh, before we go open the big spooky door, we'll be doing a, a nip back home and maybe a little check of our gear. We can, of course, upgrade our dragon thing again, which is exciting. And what is this? A glowing rod. An inanimate carbon rod. <laughs> Inventory quest items. Okay, looks to be one part of a set. A strange looking artifact. The contoured lines look engineered to fit in another object. It's a key. Curious. Very curious indeed. Shut up, nerd. Oh, not. Oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> oh no, Behead! It's Behead! It's Behead, listen. So I realise what that noise is now, that I was so curious about last time is... Oh god, Behead! <laughs> it's, um... It might be the things that Behead fires, but it's also the, the creepy skulls. The, uh, I think, I think radioactiveness is, is this guy. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> what? She's doing it again! <laughs> Stop panicking, you make me panic. Ah. Ah. Oh, right, there you are. Jesus Christ, okay. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happened. Oh, it's you. I didn't see you at all over there. Cheeky little blighter. That, that will be why the oh shit I'm assuming. Big spooky dude. Thank you very much. Definitely uh, upping our, our scrap numbers. But God, this is radiation. I've got I've got something to cure radiation, right? Um, is it the water? Yeah. Don't need it right now. I'm just I'm just keeping it in mind in case the boss decides to irradiate me. Much like the inanimate carbon rod. Is that radiated? I can't remember actually. Uh. Pew pew. <clears throat> Goddamn behead. <laughs> his weak spot is his left kneecap. His weak spot and his major erogenous zone. See, if you shoot behead in the head, he fires more bees. This is the problem with the behead. As you just saw there, but that one, I can't. Oh, there he is. I don't know, I forgot what this game is like. <laughs> just, just started, man. <laughs> Give me a minute. Oh, oh, you're the one I need to kill. Oh, yeah, that's why. Bloody Nora. Trade point. I've got to say, if I didn't have the heal, I would burn through a lot more of my dragon things. I would have burned through two. Let's keep an eye on it, right? Let's, let's keep an eye on how many dragon things I would have burned through if I didn't have a heal. So far, two. So can I get to the next checkpoint without burning through four, I guess is the challenge. Well, I can burn through four, but I can't burn through five. I know, I know. <laughs> Oh, 
had. Oh god, there's another one. Oh god. Roll. If I could kill the, um... It's like, there's a bit of... You roll, and then you roll... But there's like a... There's obviously a delay. You can't just like, chain rolls and maintain maximum speed, right? I think if I could level up my ability, my, like, reduce the cooldown between rolls, I'd probably take that. I think that would be really useful. I think the ability to roll lots is actually probably quite vital to doing well in this game. And it's something we need to uh, maybe pay attention to. In terms of like buffing our stamina and stamina regenerating and all that kind of jazz. Now, some little numpty is firing at me, which is exceptionally rude. Hello? What the oh, there he is. Okay, I think it's time. Come on. Come on. Who wants to burn alive? I do, I do, I do. You're not dead. Rude. Just, just die already. <laughs> Who raised you? God. Alright, there's a bit of loot knocking around. I wouldn't heal again, not yet. I do have uh, 10 healing items, like these little things, but I don't really want to use them. My point is that the heal is quite strong, and I think I underrated it initially. And as the game has got harder and harder, or at least I'm taking damage, um, my desire to keep it forever and ever is going up. Like, I'm struggling to see how I ever get rid of the heal. You know, when we discuss what traits am I going to pick, or what, not, whoopsie daisy, not traits, um, weapon powers. It's always, oh, what's the second one we use? What's the second one we take? It's never, <laughs> do I replace this? Because it just doesn't feel like it's on the cards. Brief moment of respite. You need it. You can't. It can't be all action all the time, or your your heart will explode. I think. Interesting. Because look, look where I'm. Like, look where I'm aiming. But you can see where the gun is actually hitting. Because obviously it's a third person shooter, and it's not. You can't really play it like an FPS, so it like I can't shoot there because I'd hit the thing, even though my cursor is nowhere near there. It's just an interesting little detail that that angle is actually because I think some games would just take it if my cursor can land there, if my if my little pointer cursor thing can hit there, then I can hit there. You know, which isn't actually the logical way to do it, really. Are you not dead? One thing I am curious about, which I actually haven't experimented with. I'm just going to nip back this way. Do I get iframes while rolling? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I knew there was someone nearby. Couldn't for the life of me see them, though. <laughs> Behead is just slowly walking to, down the staircase towards me. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, you're a new one. That's why. So an iframe... An iframe is an invincibility frame. And, for example, Dark Souls, if you roll... Um, it doesn't matter if you roll at the wrong time. Well, no, it matters if you roll at the wrong time. It doesn't matter where you roll relative to the enemy. During that roll, you have something called iframes, as in for a certain number of frames, as in images on the screen, I guess. Like a frame is a snapshot of the screen, essentially, or like a scene that gets rendered. Um, you are invincible. So it means you can dodge through any, you can dodge through any single attack. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You are invincible at that point in time. Whoops, it is he. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay. 
That was a new one. <laughs> I liked that. All right, this would have been my uh, this would have been my third heal. Just keeping going on it. Now, obviously, we are losing something by having the heal, but it, it it does make the heal seem quite strong. You know, the fact that I've now saved three dragon hearts. All right, I think I think we can say this is done. Okay. Obviously, I would maybe have taken less damage because I had another good weapon power, but I've got to say, I don't think any of them compare to having, you know, this big heal on demand. Especially because it's an AoE heal. Like, if, if I had people with me, it'd be even better, you know? But um, anyways, yeah, so I don't know if this game has iframes. I said, if I roll at exactly the right time, am I invincible for a number of frames? Because that becomes quite an important thing to know and to be able to, you know, judge. I guess we'll find out at some point. I feel like it does. I feel like it's got quite forgiving ones, just based on a little interaction I just had. Also, can I shoot these? Does that do anything? No. But you don't know unless you try, folks. Again, like a shark. Stick it in your mouth, slash, shoot it. See what happens, you know? That's how we learn. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a checkpoint. It's behind a wall. <laughs> uh, Kidoki. I'm hoping for a boss. We haven't done a boss in a little while. Oh, hello, cheeky. Tome. Lovely. <laughs> Level 18. It's funny, those tomes become worse and worse with time. As we level up our Elder Knowledge, obviously, we get traits 20% faster, so something that gives us a trait becomes less worthwhile, in a way, I suppose. Relatively speaking. It's only very minor details. The only thing I really want is like a flat damage increase that I can pump into as well. But uh, very soon we'll be able to actually make ourselves stronger, which is nice, <laughs> rather than just buffing our experience up. It's going to be great. Okay, two chests. Lovely, that's a lot of scrap and a lot of iron. Okay, this door makes me a little suspicious, but we've got a checkpoint. It doesn't look like a boss door, and yet it definitely, like, it doesn't look like a boss door because we've already established what boss doors look like. However, otherwise, it very much looks like a boss door. Oh, oh, do I need the, no, wait, what? I mean, just at the end? Is that it? Maybe that's it. I got, I, I suppose I got the key, didn't I? Oh, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> right, okay. Wait, 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 just in case, just in case. How about these things in the middle? Are you important somehow? Oh, you are! Uh, glowing rod, baby! Ah! Oh, and this Okay. Wait, do I have another? I've got Howling Key. That's for the uh, the big thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, well, let's, let's have a little poke. Let's see. Do I get loot? I do get loot. I get an Akari Mask plus six. Bloody hell. Not bad. Armor set bonus. Okay, so let's have a look at the stats first of all. It's good against shock and corrosion, maybe, or corruption or something. Uh, perfect dodging increases fire. Oh, it's the same one. Didn't we already get a piece of Akari? Or did we see it for sale, maybe? I definitely remember reading that boost. The opportunist one. Yeah. All right, cool. And we know if we get, you know, a couple more of these key things, we can come back. Right, we are going to nip to the base. Because, what 13? Because we can definitely do a little bit of, oh, but we're about to kill a boss. Right, at least I assume. Maybe I don't want to upgrade. <laughs> Maybe upgrade these for nerds. Actually, tell you what, while we're here, we'll go and upgrade our dragon heart number. Because we should... Be able to. We've got another sim. You're like, I go the wrong way everywhere. Wait. wait, wait, wait. Yes, it's right. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Well met, travel, and you pursue the road. Yes. Yes. Walk the world's wanderer. The founder lies beyond. My mom always told he me waits, I shouldn't lie. But he does not know he waits. It didn't work though. I can Is it still? Yeah, it's just one simulacrum still. A thousand creds. It, still, it, it looks like it maybe doesn't scale at all. A thousand creds is quite a lot though. 
to fare at all is well, child. But good to know. I'd really, really like to increase the speed at which we use these. They're very, very slow. It's one of the big benefits of my weapon power heal, is it's really speedy. It just happens instantly, near enough. Every other heal I have is super duper slow. Anywho, we are going to travel to... So we're in Rom. Rom is where we are. That's Earth. Doing earthy things. I think we can... Can we... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Can we, like, reset the... Yeah, we can re-roll the campaign. Is it the whole campaign? I don't want to click that. I'm scared. So let's go to Rom, and we're going to the Merchant, I believe. Maybe this is the guy that sells, yeah, the gear. And then we go past the Merchant, and we go left, and there's a big spooky red thing. And that way lies madness. And maybe happiness. I'm hoping, I hope we can get these other two keys for this, uh, for these doors. I'm going to be disappointed otherwise. Uh, right, so, where are we? I'm blind. I think we're going this way. Yeah, we're heading towards that, I think. Maybe it's not a boss. Checking out the old merchant. And not necessarily old. You could be young and live. I don't know, you look old. Dog Business. dog pops up. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. Do you sell anything? Uh, no. I mean, that one would be good, I think. Uh, to be fair, it does make your dragon hearts 50% better, even if you ignore the first bit. Which seems pretty good, I've got to say. Safely. What am I using at the moment? Twisted Idol. Yeah, 30% more armor, though. And what? encumbrance, which assumedly means I can do this. Whee! That's what's letting me roll around like it, because my encumbrance is light at the moment, yeah. I'm a light, speedy boy. Not like real life, unfortunately. Well, I'm a big, speedy boy. Okay, here we go. This looks promising. This looks... This looks fine. Oh, it is opening. Oh, it's like heated. Like super heated. What the heck is this? It's, f it's funny how you so engrossed you can get into a game world when you aren't really partaking in the story. Like, there's a bit of story. There's enough story to kind of take us through the world, but it's not really the focus, is it? Let's be honest. It's, it's, a, it's a gameplay game. And that, I think, to an extent, is why more and more with time... Oh, they're green. Oh, interesting. More and more with time, I started favoring games that really prioritize gameplay. Because... It, like, if I sit and watch a cutscene for half an hour... I say instantly going into a cutscene. I'll shut up. with me. A pity, really. He wasted his time with the foolish Akari when he could have learned from I who have witnessed centuries. For example, I know exactly what you seek. Child, I have spent an age and an age meditating on the true nature of things. I have seen the patterns, the motifs in the symphony of the world. Your home has been overrun by the Gwari. The root, you call them. We hold that in common. They are the only true enemy. 
You require salvation, and I have the key. This key will not take you where you want, rather, where you must go. It knows your salvation even better than you. Ah, you are wiser than you look. I should warn you, the key is not safe. It has led many to untimely ends. Regardless, I offer an exchange, a favor in good faith. There is a world, vibrant, primordial, untouched by the Guare, yet infested by corrupted cattle. These inhabitants revere above all else a particular beast. Bring me the beast's heart. No. <laughs> Arrogant child. You shall see why they call me undying. I'm not gonna go murder a lovely revered beast. Undying king. More like gonna be dead soon, King Lol. Wait, I did not have my pistol out. Go away. They kill his friends first. Reloading. God, I love enemies with obvious weak spots. <laughs> oh no, what did I say about these guys during boss fights? Oh, I'm dying. I'm actually dying. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm not dying, I'm dead. I didn't realize there's quite so many behind me. <laughs> okay, cool. Interesting. I'm struggling to keep an eye on him while I'm doing all this other stuff. I need to maybe run away more. God damn. God damn. There is an intruder. Some terrible shooting, goddamn. I just need to keep working him down. No, you're not. You're fine, kid. You're fine. I did it. I think I maybe need to get to him before he gets up there to the top, to the pillar a bit, maybe. I'm not sure. Trait unlocked Kingslayer. That was uh, that was hard. Yeah. Bags full. 
New item, a labyrinth key. Ah, okay. Emote unlocked, grave digger. Okay, got a lot of stuff. Anything else? <laughs> no, right. Did I get any new... No. Um, no. The Undying Cart can be used to forge a powerful weapon. Definitely want to check that out. And quest items. Got the Labyrinth Key. Traits. Got two trait points available. There we go. Maxed out Elder Knowledge, but we can now also get... Where's these new ones? Kingslayer. It's not on the list. <laughs> Why is Kingslayer... What? Am I crazy? Am I missing something? Where is it? Oh, it's there. I, 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 oh, you can't... That's weird. Critical damage. Interesting one. Not bad. If you could max that out, you'd get... 10... 15% more crit damage. Eh. Right. Do I go through the portal? Or... Why not? I'll be done with that second world. There's only four worlds in the game. So... Find the beast of the swamp. Right, I'd like to point out to the beast that I I, I kept it alive. And hopefully the beast is very thankful and gives me many lovely things. So we've got a labyrinth key. I'm confused how I get the other two keys for the uh, for that for that room in the dungeon. Because I don't think I missed anything in the other world in Rome. Rama. Well, let's uh I'm gonna swap back. That was quite helpful though, I've gotta say. Seed caller. I think it I mean, was it? I don't know if it was, to be honest, actually. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not totally convinced that it was. Mm, anything about that? I think it is nice having... Because the problem is, though, it doesn't really seem to pull aggro at all. Like, the enemy just don't seem to care about it, you know? Anyways, let's see what this uh, Kingslayer does. What now? Ruin. If charged upon death, the wielder will be revived with 50% health. They'll also take 10% less damage and be immune to stats effects for 5 seconds. It is a 22 meters... So it's, I think it's a rifle, isn't it? Okay, that could be interesting. I've got work to do. An accurate rifle which shoots qu quick 3 round bursts that deal radiation damage. Equipped with a three times scope. Hello. Okay. Maybe maybe this is something. Now it doesn't hit very hard, but it does fire faster than mine. Keep moving. Oh, traveler. Oh. Ah, let's see. The problem is how the upgrades work. Like, let me have a look at it. It's gonna cost me crystals. And I and I'm just I really don't have any. On the plus side, my hunting rifle doesn't require iron anymore, and neither does the pistol. That one does though. And the armor. Does the armor still require? No, forged, forged, forged. So I guess we can up. I quite like the idea of this one. I don't really like the weapon mod though. Mm, do I? Yeah, I mean. Mm, that's got to be good against bosses. I like it for that reason alone, really. I'll start working on it. I don't know, because it's a boss weapon, I don't know if it needs to be the same level as this. I mean, it does 20 less damage at the moment. Basically. Mm. I'd put the Mender's Aura just over on the pistol instead, you know. So I'm going to upgrade that in the meantime. And we can upgrade this a little bit as well. So long. See you later, buddy. Yeah, I burned through. I used a couple healing items there. You'll see. And I was using the overtime healing items rather than the big heal because I kept taking little bits of damage. I thought the best idea here is to um, get a hot rather than a, a big singular heal. Because I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. Anyways, we're gonna nip back to the labyrinth. I guess that felt very quick, Rom. It didn't feel like there was much in the way of, um... I think we only did two dungeons. Oh well. Now, where does this key go? Let's find out. 
Does it go up here? For example, if I was a key, I would go up here, personally. Nope, can't remember what this is. Oh, yeah, this teleports me to the thing that requires a key. This thing could require... A, this looks promising. That's kind of the right shape. Where's this going to take me, though? Okay. That's informative. <laughs> I guess we'll go in. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what to expect. Oh! Okay. Rating versus zone, we're looking good. This is the correct... So I can either do this, or I can... Wait, so let me check the checkpoint. I still want to go find the beast in the swamp, though. But have I just found another world? I can't travel here. So if I go now to... Let's go back to the Fetid Glade, and then we'll hit up the checkpoint again and see where it wants to take us. Because this one... We're trying, we're trying to fight forward is like our main quest at the moment, right? So that means I need to do other things, basically. So... Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Okay, so we've got... This is the four worlds. The fact that I've got both of those at the same time definitely suggests to me that... Um, the worlds have more to them beyond what I'm seeing. But like I said, I don't think the main campaign in this game is particularly large. Boom! You alive? What are you? No, you're a tree. Well, I mean, you're a tree, so you're alive, but... It looks like a dude, like, standing in, like, a tall cloak or something. Get it! Get it! My traits are... Yeah, Elden Hall is maxed out now. It's worth keeping in mind. I've got 20 traits worth that did not make that fight any easier whatsoever. Now we can start to get, you know, health and such useful things. It's a mole lizard. Get absolutely juked, mole lizard. Get absolutely juked. Juked means dodged. Um, it's interesting. I really thought the route were going to be a big part of this game, but <laughs> two of the four worlds, at least at least two of the four worlds, do not have the route in them. Like, this isn't the route, is it? I don't think it's meant to be, anyway. The guy, the, the Nameless King, not the Nameless King, that's uh, Dark Souls. The Undying King, who's very dead, by the by, <laughs> said that this world is verdant and untouched by the route. These do seem booty though, don't they? I was say, it's not a great world for me, because a lot of these enemies do not have what I would consider a, uh, a notable weak spot. Come on, come on. Oh, oh god. What is this? Abrasive amulet. Slugheads! very aware this thing's like right behind me. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, yeah, there is. Trade point! <laughs> now we have to start deciding what we actually spend trade points on when we have trade points to spend. Interesting. I need to use my uh, power on this more. Oh, you're dead. Um, okay, what did we start leveling? Vigor's a fairly obvious one. Let's get Vigor, let's get our stamina and health to 10. And then we'll start thinking about other things beyond that. Seems like a logical thing to do. Which probably means I shouldn't do it, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, something I believe is logical. It's probably not logical. As soon as you start digging on the ground, you can't hit them anymore. It's a little cheap. Okay, I'm not sure about that one. I figured I'm on a staircase. He's not going to be able to get me because how is he going to burrow up through the staircase? 
Apparently not a concern for him. Apparently he's absolutely fine with that. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about Slughead over here. It's like a leech, isn't it? And then I kill him and the leech falls off. Tries to get away. It's over. Terrifying little son of a gun. It ain't over. It's barely even started, girl. I don't think I've ever on this channel, I'm trying to think about this now, other than Halo, because then, oh god, we have to play Halo at some point, don't we? Jeez, I kind of forgot I was playing through the whole Halo saga. We'll have to get back to that. I think I was meant to play uh, ODST next. Um, other than the Halo game, though, I don't think I've ever on this channel played a game and then immediately played a sequel afterwards. And Halo doesn't really count because I'd already played Halo plenty myself already. I think it's going to be really interesting to kind of be able to directly compare between the two games, you know? Huh. I really thought that was going to work. Tell you what, I never. F I want to take a second to look at them. Oh my god, that was that. I don't even know what that was. All right, all right. Let's all let's all calm down here. That's not calming down. That's running menacingly towards me. <laughs> That's the opposite. Oh, you're large. What's going on that? Get him, good boys. <laughs> My little dude scared me. <laughs> okay, I think I have to weak spot shoot him or something during that bit. I don't know. That's weird. That's a, that's a spooky enemy. On their own, it's okay, but I don't know about facing that guy when there's other things around. I'm a little low on health, but I don't really like using... Man, I've only got one heal. But I'm going to have to. This area is um, definitely a little tougher. It must be said, definitely a little tougher. I'm finding I'm low on ammo quite a lot. I'm getting hit quite a lot. I've used both my uh, weapon power heals. It's whooping my ass a little bit. I wouldn't say I'm playing particularly well either, but that's, you know, when do I ever, frankly, so... Now, I'm pretty sure I saw, a, yeah, there's a dungeon over there. I promise you don't know if it's a dungeon or if it's the right way to go. So I think I'm just going to keep exploring the map for a little while. How are we doing on time? We're okay on time. Like, we know where it is. We can always come back. It's not a big deal. Roam around, get some kills, get some XP. Such things. Is that all you got? Pop some heads. God, every time I see that over there, <laughs> it gets me. It gets me every time. Nightmare. I suspect that was... Oh, I'm just... Um, mm. You know what? It'll be better to go this way, and if it's wrong, just go back to the checkpoint over there. So yeah, let's, go. Let's, let's do that. That makes more sense to me. It is a very biological kind of area. I wonder if the flame pistol is a really good idea here. Hmm. You know, squishy things. Fire. 
kind of a natural combination. No, not for the squishy thing. A natural combination for those of us who want to kill the squishy things. Alright, here we go. It doesn't look dungeony. The swamp recognizes that which is not its own. I reject that which rejects itself. It's a lovely painting. Hoping for a dungeon. Not hoping for the right way to go. <laughs> don't know if there's a difference. Really don't. It feels like maybe sometimes there's mandatory dungeons, sometimes there isn't. I don't think the game's systems are that well explained. I don't think that mean that in like an overtly negative way. Butcher's Bothy. What the heck is a Bothy? I'm going to Google this. It's a new word to me and it's not often that games do that. So I'm, I'm kind of curious. Bothy. Shelters, various and old dwellings made of stone or wood with basic facilities. It's a Scottish word. So there's this Bothy. Now, is the butcher going to eat my face? There wasn't a boss door, but I don't know if that means much. Maybe the butcher's chill? I suspect the butcher's not chill. Nobody called the butcher's ever been chill. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, he's well, he's red. Oh, I was hoping to get some early damage in. Didn't work. Hey, buddy. Maybe he is chill? Oh no, I broke his pot and he didn't like it. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not sure he's a vacant butcher. Can't just whack at it with a, with a hammer. <laughs> That's not gonna help. The unclean one. Ow. It's a wall here. Oh god, I can't. Right. So there goes my plan anyway. <laughs> this was very much. Oh my god. My plan was to leave, frankly. <laughs> if there's one problem I have with this game, it's that like every single fight has multiple enemies. Every single bloody fight. Now, it's probably. So you can replenish your ammo and stuff like that. But it's not my favourite system. I would like some more one-on-one -on -one fights. Side roll for that. There's a wall there. We're having an angle. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Here we go again. Walls are bad. <laughs> Lesson one. <laughs> oh, I can um, I like the little dudes, but I feel like the fire damage could be really good here. I don't know. Ah, oh, but I like the little dudes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try out the Spitfire. I've got no way. Oh, oh I'm an idiot. You know what? It's fine. We'll just not use it for the start of the fight. I should have. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't just recharge naturally. I was at the checkpoint. I know I didn't have it equipped, but I don't know. It makes more sense to me. Some more stamina. Right. As soon as I'm inside, assuming I can start to shoot him. I did try to dodge that, I was just slow by the way, just to affirm that I'm not a total idiot. I did try. <laughs> oh god damn. A little bit more healing if I can, thank you. Oh, 
I missed with basically all of that. That was cool. Goddamn, how long is he gonna go for? Run away! Because this attack never ends, apparently. No, I didn't mean to do. Oh, God damn it! I didn't mean to do that at all. Found his weak spot. It's the booty. Oh, whoops. I think I'm okay, though. Whew. That was a fun fight. You ain't so tough. Yeah, you ain't so bad. You ain't so bad. <laughs> New tray. It's, it's very cool, this idea. Consumable use speed. You know what? Actually, pretty bloody good, that one. Consumable use speed. I will be pointing points into that. Um, there's loot under the table. How do I get it? Can't, I can't get it. How do I? What? What nonsense is. Oh, I have to bait him into it, don't I? I have to bait the boss into it. Damn it. There's some really well-designed bosses in this game. It's really interesting that, because you don't expect... It's an interesting combination, like a, a gun-focused game, but with like Dark Souls bosses. Oh, I could have come downstairs. I wonder if that would have been helpful. Maybe I could have knocked out the f ceiling or something. Hmm. That was a cool boss. I enjoyed that. Wish I hadn't died, but, you know. I have to accept that I'm going to die when I play a game like this. It hurts my ego a little bit, but I don't think I can complain too much. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. The flame did a lot of damage. It would have gone better if I didn't mess up at one point with the... Uh, I healed by accident. A lot of the bosses is in part as well. It's about learning... Just which way to roll. Some attacks you want to roll left. Some attacks you want to roll back. Some attacks you want to roll right. Some attacks you want to roll forward into the boss. And that's going to be the safest way to do it. Typically with big bosses, you want to roll forward generally speaking, or anything that's got like a wide attack arc. Can I see my quests anywhere? Is that a thing? Oh, I got a trait as well, didn't I? Um, so I'm gonna, we're going to take Vigor and oh, I don't know what I'm doing again, but whatever. I guess I can't see my quests, can I? No, but we did just get a new material, the Unclean Heart. Let's go check what that is. Because I was going to end it there, but I figure... Got a couple of minutes, we may as well do some stuff. They've all been weapons lately. What I'd also like, I don't know if this is a thing, but like a way to see... Like a compendium, almost, a way to sort of see everything in the game. Not necessarily see it all, but um, to... See it all. No, to um, just to see what I've got and how many things are remaining. You know, if you're gonna try to hundred percent a game like this, I think you need that kind of thing, a compendium sort of style thing. All right, make me a weapon. What? What? Yeah. Better be worth my time. Devastator. Okay, it's a it's a crossbow, a single fire crossbow. Doesn't hit for much. Fires a large spike that deals 125 damage, 300% additional stagger damage, and applies bleeding, dealing 600% damage. Okay, so really you pick that up for the sake of the, um, for the sake of the, uh, for the, um, weapon power, don't you? I don't know if I should be buying all these. I'm kind of wasting scrap and other things, whatever they're called. Oh, I need galvanized iron now. 
Oh, because level 10. Yeah, that makes sense. So I need lots of iron. My concern is I'm going to struggle to upgrade some of these things because I don't have... Um, because we're not finding so much iron because we kind of moved on from that part of the game. I guess, how much money have I got? I've got a lot of money. Let's go, let's just go buy some iron. Keep moving. Iron, 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 I love iron. Iron sword to hit your head. Iron bed to rest your head. No, iron, that can't be it. <laughs> you found the great that can't be it. Oh, what an adventure. How many mysteries it must hold. Ooh, what a night. Let's see your wares. I can't remember what everyone's got, so I'm just going to do sort of a, a double check. Any new trinkets? Now, I don't know if they ever get any trinkets. Imagine that. I can't I can't imagine taking triple damage to do 15% more damage. Even double, I'd be hesitant. <laughs> but no. no. Oh, I forgot my elixir. Yeah. Dummy. Good to see you. Dude, you know, there's still a lot of deadwood out there. But that thing was a different level of hurt. What have you got? Everyone just sells. Why is everyone just sell consumer? Oh, four shine though. That's interesting. All right. <laughs> okay, that was good. Um, might even buy. Later. Yeah, I can get four shine. I've got forty-four iron there, so I think scrap is really the most important because her inventory is clearly sort of scaling with um the level, or my level. So, now it wasn't galvanized, but those luminite crystals are quite expensive. I don't know if I like the Spitfire that much. I do. Ah, I, I don't love this weapon upgrade system. I think it's really hard to change weapon. <laughs> Is ruin any good? I have no idea. I really don't. I like the hunting rifle a lot. But is the hunting rifle going to be the best weapon for the entire game? I don't know. That seems unlikely. Should I just keep plugging points into this while I can? I'm going to keep leveling up Ruin with the, the assumption that it will be good. Same with my hunter's gear. Still got a bit of money left. Ruin, you better not mess me up here, though, buddy. <laughs> I mean, it is a boss weapon. 38 damage, RPS 6. I think that is more damage now. Um, 19, 27. It is too much. Like, in terms of DPS. Actually, no, because that's 1.9, not... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's better. Yeah, Ruin actually does more damage now than my hunting rifle, interestingly enough. I think we'll, um... I think we'll try it out next video. We'll just give it a go. And if it, it sucks, it sucks. It is what it is. Let's do that and let's change you. We're going to have to swap you over to the pistol and change this to... Uh... This to this. I'm not going in without my heal. <laughs> I'm just not. Okay, it's interesting. And does radiation as well. What what was that about? Radiation damage. So I can against boss. Wait, what does radiation damage do? Um, don't remember. Is it stamina by half or something like that? It's something not that doesn't sound great against bosses. But maybe bosses are. Maybe bosses do have stamina. I don't know. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We'll do that next video. Thank you very much for joining me. Cheers, much of as always. Bye bye.